poor guy was just sleepy. Well, you've probably seen all the different brands of face masks in the beauty aisle. They're designed to give you a quick boost or glow, but one mom has a warning about them after her child suffered a harsh reaction over the holidays. Juliana Valencia has her story. It's not what nine-year-old Nellie David intended to happen when she put on this unicorn face mask. After like four minutes, I started feeling like stinging, so I like just pulled it off and I'm like, ow, my face like really, really hurts and it's really red. Her face burning and turning red everywhere this face mask touched. I started to notice that it was getting redder. Her face was hot to the touch and it actually started to sort of um, puff out. The mask, a yes to vitamin C glow boosting unicorn paper mask that Nellie's mother, Megan, discovered had multiple bad reviews online. That said the same thing that happened to them, burning, um, skin irritation. Um, a lot of people made reference to the fact that they thought, they thought that it was a chemical burn. We reached out to Yes2 and the company responded with this statement saying in part, we apologize to anyone who is affected in this way, especially over the holiday season. While our products are all independently tested for safety, irritation and allergy, and while we provide both warnings and instructions on our products about the potential for skin irritation, the safety and satisfaction of our customers are our main concerns. We have decided to pull this particular product off of the shelves while we investigate the complaints that we have received and seen online. It was a huge learning experience for us. Um, you know, putting something on your child's face, it is um, do a little bit more research. If I had just maybe taken the time to look online and seen that there were negative uh, reviews that may have, you know, stopped me from from putting it on or after about 24 hours, the burning and redness had gone away. And from now on, Nellie says she's going to be careful about the face masks she uses. I think I'll still do it, but not as often, and maybe do it with someone else to make sure I don't get burned again. Yes, to apologize to Nellie's mother for what happened. They also offered her a $10 gift card to the store where she purchased the mask. You don't have to be high for marijuana to affect your ability to drive. Researchers used a simulator to test users and non-users and found people who smoked marijuana made more mistakes while driving, even if they waited 12 hours and were sober when they got behind the wheel. Those mistakes included hitting pedestrians, running red lights, and speeding.